shit. Man, this drone, I'm, I'm not I forgot that the egg was on. <laughs> All right. Welcome to my channel today. How y'all doing? Right, today's Thursday. It's almost weekend. I'm super happy. Looking forward to the weekend because guys, work has been that work. <laughs> Anyways, today it's a cooking vlog. I'm making some moe moe. Translates bean cake in English and it's made out of beans. It's one of the few Nigerian dishes that Danny actually eats that likes to eat with me so I always take you know take advantage of that because it, with him being a good cook and all it's very difficult to actually get him to really love something that he hasn't made literally speaking here are my ingredients and I'm going to get cooking straight away. I'll talk you through some bits and bobs whilst I'm on it or whilst I'm getting cooking. I'm making it really quick as well because I'm one of those people who just don't like hanging around in the kitchen for too long. And I do hope you enjoy this video. Here we have some of my ingredients, or rather all of it. There's the peeled beans, some corned beef, which you can pick up at Sainsbury's or Tesco, red peppers, onions, scotch bonnet. That's for me, actually, because he's not going to have any spice in his. Uh, I've got some shrimp there, curry, thyme, nor, salt, and there's the oil. Now, I've started boiling my eggs already. And they need to boil and cool for me to be able to put them in my moi moi mixture when it's done but i'm going to be doing two mixtures because if you watch our last um, vlog you hear me say that danny cannot stand any spice and yours truly has to have some spice in her food i'm sorry i can't so <laughs> i'm going to blend my blend my mixture mixture separately so mine is going to have the scotch bonnet in it and it's going to be a little just a tad bit different to danny's but the mixture is relatively the same now moi moi used to take a li little much longer to cook back in the day because you had to the process would involve you having to peel the beans before you actually start to grind it but thankfully now you can pick up a bag of peeled beans from any african shop around you and you just get st started straight away so i'm gonna throw my um peeled beans and peppers and onions into my blender and blend away. Porte gasuna con usted marreta Na cupulella ca vi si era aizata Passa scampanianna pattuleta Oh, man, Okie dokie, guys. All blended now. And that's my bean mixture right there. It's all come together. Make sure with the consistency, you want to make sure it's not too thick. Because if it is, when you steam it, because that's how we're going to cook it. When you steam it, it's going to be really, really stiff when you cut into it. So it's not supposed to be too thick. My consistency is round about that. It's still going to get some oil in and perhaps a little bit more water. So now all I'm going to do is just season to taste 
as I said earlier, I'm working with some curry, thyme, salt, uh, and some no cubes, and that's it really. And then the oil to make it steam from within. It often makes it a little bit more glossy as well, and that's nice. So I've done the very first mixture, which is Danny's. That's our mixture coming together nicely. The oil goes in as a binding agent just to hold it all nicely together when it starts to steam and all just season to taste sometimes I put ginger in sometimes I put garlic in I haven't done in this instance but you do get to do that occasionally I'm just doing a one bam thank you man version <laughs> Alright guys, you need to not eat when you're cooking, <laughs> otherwise you'll be too full and food's all done. Anyway, right, so the moin moin goes in and only about three quarters full because when it starts to steam, it does rise quite a little bit and you don't want that overflowing into your pots or your pans, wherever it is you're cooking with. When they make this back home, they actually do it in a leaf can't remember what leaf it's called to be honest um, and that leaf is nicely sealed over and I'm going to be doing a version with foil I'm just going to seal it into the foil and that's what I'm going to put my ones in but for Danny's just because it's easier for him to just scoop it out of his little uh, ramkin that's why I do it in this small portable ones just to make it a little bit more presentable as well Okay, so that's my first batch in. That's Danny's Moi Moi. So, I'm going to show you how I make the foil now. The rest of the mixture is going to go in the foil and in a bigger pot, which will cook much easier. So, I've made a little wrap. This is a very long version. I've got a few that I've done already. So literally, you fill your mixture in and fold over as you like, and then you put that in a pot to steam, just like I've done with the ramkins. Right, so, as I mentioned earlier, my scotch bun is going in my one now. Because, you know, I like my spice, so uh, I've got to make sure that my scotch bun goes in. Right, okay, so when you put your mixture in, you can put it in the middle of you filling up your mixture. You can put the mixture in, put your condiments in, corned beef, eggs, shrimps, fish, whatever it is you want to make to jazz up your moi moi, throw it in and then put some more mixture on top. I'm not bothered with that because when you put it in and you give it a bit of a jiggle, it all sinks in anyway. And then you give it a good wrap over 
But remember, you've got to leave some space for it because when it steams, it rises very, very little. Okay, that's my little foil contraption. And it goes right into the hot water, like so. Mr. Flavor on the microphone. Check if you're all done with your moi moi. You literally just dip a knife in, and if it comes out with a clean cut, normally 45 minutes you cook your bean cake. But if for any reason you've got doubts, if it comes out with a clean cut like in a cake, you've done a good job. When you see a woman with a bisheka, you don't know. Are you ready now? Right, so the moi moi feels nice and solid. As you can see, I'm picking it up. Oh, it's nice and solid. It's about to come off. But remember last week when we were telling you about our menu and stuff? Ta-da! <laughs> We've been trying to kind of stay true to it and we're having one good cook meal every day. Now that's really, that's a pass mark for the Grimm household. And on Monday we had spaghetti and meatballs, which was yum. I'm still, see, I'm still drooling. Anyways, uh, on Tuesdays we had chicken and cheese with mash. On Wednesday, we had chips and eggs with some frankfurters. And today, we're having moi moi for dinner. I'm having mine with some Gary. You know, that's just some, you know, some starchy kind of. I'll tell you all about it. Anyway, Friday, tomorrow, there's loads of moi moi. So we're going to have some leftovers tomorrow. You can have it with bread. You can have it with ogi, which is like a maize meal mix. Or we call it pap. And then on Saturday... Danny's making chicken paprika with some nakedly. That's some serious Hungarian dish for you, man. Anyway, so we're having uh, chicken paprika on Saturday and Sunday. So on Saturday, we're going to have it with nakedly and the same on Sunday. Right, so I'm going to take this out now. Get it unwrapped so you can see what it looks like when it comes out of the foil. Yo, show them. Uh -huh. Right, so that's my moi moi or rap. Basically, depending on what container you've used for your moi moi, it sometimes it might disintegrate when you're taking it out. I like my moi moi nice and soft and quite fluffy. Some like it much thicker. Um, this is Gary with some granite, which is, you know, the way we do it. All that's going in there is just some water and some ice. Um, and that goes so well together. There's this smacky, soury, effect of the gary and it makes it just combines the moi moi so nice anyway guys i'm going to wrap up the vlog here I'm going to thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it please like subscribe comment give tips on what you want to see next feel free just let it roll and we'll see you again soon thank you so much for watching bye Baby, so fresh. I think I'm one by the man. Baby, 